What's up everyone, Geus59 and I'll be reviewing Prinny Can I Really Be the Hero for the PSP. This game is about someone stealing Etna's dessert, and you, as a Prinny, are now given the task to, of getting the ingredients for the Ultra Dessert or else she'll kill you. You have 1,000 lives and 10 hours to get the dessert. So you don't explode in one hit, she gives you a scarf protecting you, unless, you're, unless you play on Hell's Finest. <laughs> Instead of an RPG, like most games made by NIS, this is a platformer with some hack and slash elements. You select which place you wish to go to and what time of day. If you go to a stage early in the morning, chances are the stage will be easier, while if you go at night, the stage and sometimes the boss at the end of the stage will be different, if not harder. In this game, you only have a couple moves. Attacking with the square button while on the ground, while in the air, and the most useful game and the useful move in the game, the Hip Pound. The Hip Pound is used to defeat most bosses and sometimes is necessary to use to get from place to place. Holding the circle button gives you the chance to dash, which is which the only real use for it is holding the down button while you dash so you can slide, which by the way the tutorial levels don't tell you this. Also, if you die 1000 times, it's game over, but you get a new move called the Printy Bomb, which allows you to throw printies and yes, that means you lose some of your printy lives depending on how many times you use it. But it's also a real shame that they didn't include the Pringer Beam or the Printy Dance or other printy based moves. If it wasn't for the bosses and some of the enemies, this gameplay would be repetitive. There are vehicles in this game, but since most of them last for about 30 seconds, it's really nothing special or noteworthy. You can also throw things in this game, which really isn't that useful, nor can it be used as an attack unless throwing a conveniently placed bomb. As for the gameplay itself, this game is pretty hard at first. Remember in the 90s when in some platformers you'd get hit and you'd get knocked back? Well this is exactly what happens in this game. You'll probably get knocked back and fall into a bottomless pit more than once on your first playthrough. Another problem is the bad jumping controls. The jumping in this game is just bad and imprecise. You'll get frustrated, but eventually you'll get used to it. There are two important things to find in this game. Orbs, which can turn those nameless souls into a demon which provides you a service. And lucky dolls, which you need to kill in order to fight secret bosses and unlock m minor things. Collecting orbs is important because one of these demons can give you the ability to play the add-on content that you might have bought from the store, while another can give you the ability to save your replays. However... The same problem with Blaze Blue and Eye of Judgment is that you can save the replays, but you can't upload them. If you just want to beat the game, that will be roughly 8 hours, but if you want to fight secret bosses and unlock the alternate story, you'll probably have over 20 hours. The graphics and comedy from previous NIS games are still in this PSP game without sacrificing anything. <laughs> But the gameplay itself may annoy you. Overall, I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. If you're a fan of NIS games, then you may like it. But if you're new to the franchise, you might want to watch some more gameplay and reviews.